sector now. People are bracing themselves uh, for ongoing waves of drones and missiles and intercepts potentially going throughout the night. Uh, a lot of concern as to what this portends. People really, I think, just taking in these extraordinary images that we're seeing, particularly over Jerusalem, of those intercepts, uh, over the Al-Aqsa Mosque itself, one of the holiest sites in Islam, and trying to grapple with what this portends for the region more broadly. We are expecting to hear from the IDF spokesperson, Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari, any moment now. Israel has closed its airspace. It has advised residents uh, throughout the country, but particularly in several key areas. I can hear another jet now in the distance to remain close to a shelter, to be vigilant, to stay close to their phones, to make sure that they're following updates. Schools have been closed, universities have been closed, and everyone really just bracing themselves for what comes next. Because as we have discussed previously, Iran is now declaring this a fait accompli. They have achieved what they set out to do, and it's now over. But really, until we see the scale and scope of the damage or destruction that may or may not come as a result of this unprecedented aerial assault, it is far 